Quickly, what's your favourite Sonic ROM hack of all time? Did any of you answer Sonic 2 Recreation? No? No, I didn't think so. Uh, oh, actually, no, hang on a minute. A few of you did. Ah, oh, thank you. But no, today, it's all about Sonic Mega Mix, which most of you have said is your most preferable game. And there's no denying that isn't one of the most popular. Even one of the creators of this hack went on to help develop Sonic Mania, leaving Sonic Mega Mix to dry. Like, really dry. And a lot of people have wondered, will this ever be worked on again? And if so, how would it turn out? Well, that's not what I'm thinking. I'm more likely asking, does it work on real hardware? Well, with seven Mega Drive slash Genesis editions to try out, plus two Mega CD slash Sega CD versions to give a go, I think it's time that we found out. So welcome to the Sonic Mega Mix series, but does it work on real hardware? So for all the Mega Drive editions, I'm using this flash cart, an EverDrive MD version 3 by Crix. And for the Mega CD, I'm actually using this that I actually burnt myself. Um, there, sorry. <laughs> so all of these versions I downloaded from Sonic Retro, and the very first one I found was the Hacking Contest 2005 build. Ooh, that's going back. So you got your general Sega Splash Screen Sonic Team Presents, and then the title card which I think has had a palette alteration, although the jingle has definitely changed. And you're taken straight to Sunset Hill Zone Act 1. With the palettes... Oh, blimey! You can tell this is an old one. These were the days before disassemblies were widespread. There's no home in attack, there's no light dash, there's no spin dash, nothing like that. It's your basic Sonic 1 control set. You got a few differences here like the monitor art and the HUD relocation. The initial act of the first zone has had a level design change, but from act 2 onwards it's all the same, although all the palettes and melodies have changed for each stage. To keep it brief, I didn't actually play this game from A to Z, I loaded up the level select which is the same code as Sonic 1 and just chose a few levels to go into, and I didn't find any issues whatsoever, everything seems to run smoothly. So does this work on real hardware? Yes it does. Next is version 1, which I've been told is extremely similar to the hack and build we just played. But all the intros remain intact, although the rhythm here has been swapped. So except for a new music playlist, I don't see anything else altered from the previous build. Again, I just went into level select, picked a handful of stages, and saw that everything was working perfectly. So does this work on real hardware? Absolutely. Next up, version 1.5. And by the looks of it, nothing has changed at the beginning. Although we have another music revision. And finally, the palette is looking a little bit easier on the eyes. The look that we're all used to for Sonic Mega Mix. The art practically remains no different. Sonic still contains his basic moves. The spike bug is still in the game. Ugh. Although what are these caterpillars doing? This one even fancies having a little dance. Again, nothing really here to talk about, except from the important question. Does it work on real hardware? Of course. We're going pretty quick, and already we're on to the next hacking contest build in 2006. <laughs> okay, I didn't press the start button, it did that itself. The Sega screen didn't want to know. And how about that? We finally have a menu selection on the title screen. Uh, let's have a quick look at options, shall we? Um, or, or not? Oh, okay, it's just gonna. Oh, no, oh no, we're, we're back, we're back. Pressing the C button seems to have done something there. Um, wow, there's Mighty, there's Shadow, uh, we'll just stick with Sonic. <laughs> um, it seems that everything's completely crashed, but when I press the C button, the value changes, it was doing something. The music's trying to carry on, but it looks like it's crashed. Let's uh, restart the game. Alright, okay, let's just skip the options and just go straight to start game. Or not, because what on earth I never ever lo- Alright, okay, I'll stop commentating then! Oh, I just have to press the C button to go past it. See, the, the C button seems to try to push the game forward, although it's now not doing anything again. Yeah, nothing happens. Not even C button- Oh no, no, I had to press it twice, um... Okay, so... Oh, we got zero lives. Um, now we got unlimited lives. Well, 255, but good enough. 
Crashed again. Uh, pressing the C button makes it go on. We got a garbled up life icon here, and we're introduced into the same sunset hill we tried a moment ago. Except now we have the homing attack. Oh, finally. Do we have the spin dash? Yes, we do. Do we have the super peel out? No. Do we have the light dash? Yes, we do. Okay, so we've got a few new moves here, but it's not quite complete at this point. A lot of the monitor art has now gone back to the original Sonic one. Oh, and uh, it seems to have gone again. But pressing the C button makes it advance. How bizarre. Again, after Act 1, nothing's really different in terms of level design. Special stages are still the exact same as Sonic 1. And yeah, I've definitely come to the conclusion now. Every time the level has to restart, it just like crashes until you... Don't press the C button. Oh, okay, I had to press it twice that time. What I want to know is, is that, can we go into options and then pick a character, say Shadow, press start without going down, because that's what caused it to crash, press the C button, and then the Shadow appear? He does! And yes, Mighty is also in the game. So we finally got some improvements to Sonic himself, although the game overall still feels too close to Sonic 1. Although, to be fair, with the option menu breaking real easily, and you have to keep bashing the C button every single time the level restarts, and with the game telling you to shut the f*** up every time you start it, does this work on real hardware? Uh, this is a tough one, but I'm gonna say partially. Upcoming is the next complete version of Sonic Mega Mix, version 2.0. And let's see if this fixes any of the issues the previous one had. Alright, so there we are at the menu. Let's just go into options first, shall we? No, dear, don't tell me I have to press C. Yeah, okay, so I can change character in... Ah, so this still exists. In fact, let me just go through the summary. You can now air dash, and Act 2 and Act 3 has a level design changed. Apart from those little adjustments, all the level design and art and all the previous glitches still exist. I think we can just move on to the question, does it work on real hardware? Partially. Well, that was a little bit disappointing, but next up is the Hacking Contest 2007 build. So, theoretically, there's been a year that's passed and they should have ironed out the bugs by now. So, let's give it a go. Um, wow, we finally got a change on the title screen. That just looks very elegant. I spoke too soon. What on earth? Okay. <laughs> Press the start button. Does options finally work? Yes, options is now in an upright state. We can actually change the mode select from normal to original and vice versa. And we can pick different characters with ease. And does sound test work? Absolutely. So it looks like Sunset Hill is the one to start up the game with Sonic actually running in this time. Well, that's pretty cool. Oh my... <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> um... Game's crashed. What? No, 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 we're still here. What on? Oh, oh. Oh, hang on a minute. Jumping? Pressing the jump button causes this horrible mess. And then there's, again, just like the previous version, there's no way out of it till you press the C button. Is that going to happen every single time I jump? Jumping with the B button does it, but then pressing B again doesn't get you out of it. Only the C button does. A isn't a jump. Oh, oh. Wow. Oh, <laughs> no, no, come on. This, this isn't funny. You can now super peel out, which is cool. Except for now, I wasn't prepared to play this version for too long. Because it just kept bakingly crashing every time I jumped. And after a little while, that just got way too annoying. It's too broken. Does this work on real hardware? No. So we finally come to the last Mega Drive version, 3.0, which is the most stable, I've been told. And hopefully, they won't have that stupid jump glitch. We'll, 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 we'll get there. So there we are on the menu. Uh, let's just... Oh, there's preferences now. Go into preferences and... Oh, that's pretty cool. Supersonic, so he's going to be in there. Spike bug will turn that off. Got nice little options in here. It's cool. Options works just as intended. And yes, you can finally jump without any errors. Sweet hallelujah. This is definitely the most up-to-date. 
You've got all the Sonic's moves now with the air dash, you can roll into a ball or in midair. Sonic's animations has been upgraded. A lot of the level layout has changed for the zones. And you get a lot of fun out of the game using the ring dash. And you're no longer vulnerable to badniks either. The special stages have had a makeover. And except for Sonic glitching out every now and then, I didn't find any serious problems. I think we can all see where this is heading. Does version 3 work on real hardware? Most definitely. Alrighty, now it's time to step it up a gear and move away from the Mega Drive and onto the Mega CD. And with this, I just used my own discs, but for the first couple, I actually couldn't get it to boot up, and sometimes it would, but it would hang immediately. Word of advice, get yourself some decent CDRs, because right now I have a plentiful amount of coasters. <laughs> if you would like to know a reliable brand in case you want to try this in the future, Philips seems to do the job. I mean, it hasn't failed me once so far. Okay, now we're loading up version 4. There are three different downloads depending on your region. For me, I had to download the Japanese one to work on my Japanese Mega CD. Okay, now it's been upgraded to the Sonic Retro Slash screen. And we've got the title card from version 3. Now, don't start thinking what I started thinking. When I started the game, it just stayed blank for a while. This is actually loading up the game from the CD. It just takes a little bit longer. It has not crashed. And here we are with a brand new look to Seaside Shores. And it looks miles better. It's so exquisite. With this game, you got a lot of graphical overhaul, a brand new level select, boss time text if you fancy that sort of thing. To be totally fair, this seemed to work on real hardware pretty damn well. Every now and then the sound effects started cutting out, but to be honest, I think that's the game because it kept happening on an emulator as well, so I'm not going to be blaming the Mega CD for this one. Also, if you're expecting CD audio from this game, prepare to be a little bit disappointed. It's still FM music, but to be fair, it's really nice. A scarce amount of glitches here and there for an unstable port. I think it works really well. So, does version 4 work on real hardware? Surprisingly, yes. And finally, we come to version 5.0a, which is actually still available on Headcanon's website. Also, there's only one version available, and that is the USA version. So I can't start it. Or can I? With the help of my EverDrive MD, I can load up the USA BIOS on my Japanese Mega CD. Thank goodness for this EverDrive, because <laughs> I wouldn't be able to test this out for you otherwise. Right off the bat, you can tell that it's humongously updated in graphic art. And you've got CD audio this time, which you can turn off for FM audio if you wish in the options menu. You've got a few level design changes here and there. You've got an updated boss in quite a lot of levels. And probably the most outstanding change is the new special stages, which has got a Sonic CD-esque vibe to it. All you have to do is collect 100 rings by running down the path and avoid some obstacles here and there and grab some UFOs if you want to grab more time. However, one big issue when you exit these, whether you grab the emerald or not, the game will just suddenly crash. Another disappointing factor I notice is that if you die in any way, shape or form, the game will come to a sudden halt. Overall, it's pretty impressive, although there's still a few things that needs to be ironed out. I know they did say that this was an unstable version, but that doesn't mean I'm going to let that be an excuse. Does this work on real hardware? I'm going to be generous and give it the partial rating. Well, that was quite a mixed bag, wasn't it? It started off really well, and then it went dramatically downhill. And then it picked itself up a bit again. And then it kind of went, I don't know where to go. But it's still a very decent Sonic ROM hack. And if you want to try that out for yourselves, the download link is in the description below. And if you enjoyed that evaluation and you'd like to see me try those versions on a live stream, I'll be doing that on my secondary channel just up here. Thank you ever so much for taking your time out to watch this. If you enjoyed it, make sure to leave a like and to subscribe if you want to see more to the series. But until then, you guys have a wonderful evening. Ta-ra for now.